As an Amazon seller, you have the freedom to choose from a range of positioning options for your product ads. This allows you to fine tune your marketing strategy and discover the most effective approaches. However, you first have to figure out how you qualify the cost of the ads and where you want the display ads to go. Hello everyone, I'm Ankita Patil, Product Evangelist at Seller App and today I'm going to talk about Amazon Sponsored Display Ads versus DSP Ads and how to know which type of ad will work the best to boost your sales and business. Well, here's a quick overview of topics we are covering in this video. Before we begin, if you find this video helpful, click the like button below and subscribe to Seller App so you don't miss out on more exciting Amazon selling tutorials in the future. Also, don't forget to follow us on our social media channels for more helpful content. Let's get started. Amazon sponsored display ads are pretty cool. They are not limited to just Amazon. They can be shown up on and off the Amazon platform. You might spot them on the Amazon homepage, product detail pages, or even in search results on Amazon. But here's the interesting part. They can also pop up on other websites and apps outside of Amazon. Now, why are these ads so popular? Well, they are great for two things, remarketing and boosting brand awareness. Now, let's say you are browsing around Amazon and checking out some products. Later on, when you visit another website or use a different app, you might notice an ad for the exact same product or a similar one you were just looking at on Amazon. Now that's remarketing in action. It helps to remind you about the product and increases the chances of you making a purchase. Now why should you give Amazon sponsored display ads a shot? Well, there are a several compelling reasons that make them worth considering. Let me break it down for you with a few examples. Firstly, if you are aiming to increase your impressions and get your products in front of more eyes, Amazon sponsored display ads are perfect for you. Imagine combining sponsored brands, sponsored display and sponsored products all together. This powerful combination will skyrocket your impressions, especially for new products. It's like casting a wide net to reach a larger audience in a shorter amount of time. This is particularly important if you want to level up from being a newbie to an established player in your industry. Another great advantage of using sponsored display ads is their ability to boost your presence in the upper funnel. Now, you can specifically retarget people who have shown interest in your products or similar items. For example, if someone has looked at your laptop accessories, you can cleverly target them with an ad showcasing your latest short laptop bag collection. Moreover, you can even target buyers who have searched for keywords related to your product. It's like having a laser focused strategy to reach potential customers who already are primed to buy. Next is yours an interesting twist if you utilize sponsored display while your competitors haven't jumped on board, yet you'll have a fantastic opportunity to capture more attention and guide potential customers down the sales funnel. For instance, imagine your competitors are relying solely on sponsored brands and sponsored products while you strategically use sponsored display to stand out. Now, your eye-catching ad might just steal the spotlight, drawing customers away from your competitors and towards your products. Now, let's talk about cost. So, sponsored display ads generally have lower conversion rates because they don't appear on Amazon's search engine results page. Now, this means they would have less competition compared to other advertising types. So you can actually stretch your advertising budget further and potentially achieve a better return on investment. Lastly, here's a trick you can use with sponsored display ads by placing your ad below a competitor's listing. 
you can directly put your best products against theirs. It's like a friendly competition where you can showcase your top-notch offerings to potential customers who are already interested in similar products. Now, just make sure to target areas where you have a high profitability, probability of generating clicks and outperforming other Amazon products. It's all about strategic placement to maximize your chances of success. Now let's move to the Amazon demand side platform. For those who aren't familiar, it is a nifty programmatic platform that allows you to buy various types of ads, including display, video and audio, both on and off Amazon. Now the beauty of Amazon DSP lies in its ability to help you reach specific audiences and get their ads displayed on top websites such as Goodreads, IMDb, Audible, Twitch, etc. And here's the cool part. It gives you access to unique Amazon ad inventory. So how does it work? Well, Amazon has its own algorithm that works behind the scenes. Now, this algorithm programmatically finds the perfect ad placement that aligns with your target audience and the budget and then bids on those placements for you. It's like having an advertising assistant that does the legwork for you. Now, let's give and dive into the types of ads you can run on Amazon DSP. Currently, there are three main types, display, video and audio. So display ads uh, through Amazon DSP have great versatility. They can be shown on and off Amazon reaching users on mobile, desktop and Amazon devices like Kindles, Fire TVs and Alexa enabled devices. You can even target popular ads owned by Amazon such as IMDb and Twitch, maximizing your reach across different platforms. So video ads on Amazon DSP have extensive reach. They can be displayed on Amazon sites, Amazon devices, and across the web, leveraging Amazon's vast network. Make sure to review the specific requirements for running video ads on Amazon to ensure compliance with the guidelines. Now, audio ads currently in beta uh, testing and available in the US are played during the breaks on Amazon Music. This offers a valuable opportunity to connect with listeners and engage them while they enjoy their favorite music. After understanding what Amazon DSP is, here are some solid reasons why you should consider using Amazon DSP. First things first, sponsored ads should always be your go-to when investing in advertising for your brand. They are effective and get you great on platform visibility. However, there may come a time when you want to expand your reach beyond the on-platform demand. That's where Amazon DSP comes in. It opens up new opportunities for growth both on and off Amazon by reaching outside audiences and specific contextual groups. Imagine being able to target look-alike audiences who share similarities with your existing customer base or reaching people based on their lifestyles or their interests in certain market segments. Now, Amazon DSP allows you to do just that. It enables marketers to connect with consumers who may not be actively searching on the site but are still relevant to your brand. It's like casting a wider net to capture the attention of potential customers who fit your target audience. Now, the beauty of Amazon DSP lies in its ability to leverage Amazon's vast first-party ads data. So this means you can enhance your marketing efforts at every stage of the sales funnel. You can create awareness among top of funnel prospects using various audience segments and even retargeting techniques. Then as you move further down the funnel, you can guide those interested buyers towards consideration and purchase. Now here's a pro tip. If you are a direct-to-consumer that is DTC business and you're willing to share your first-party site data with Amazon to create look-alike audiences, it can be highly effective. This way you can tap into the power of Amazon's data and find new customers who have similar behaviors and preferences to your existing customers. It's like turbocharging your targeting capabilities. Now let's talk numbers. Once you have optimized your other ad types and established a solid foundation, it's time to ramp up your Amazon advertising plan. 
And that's where Amazon DSP comes into play. As a general rule, when brands are spending around $25,000 to $30,000 per month on Amazon advertising, it's a good time to stack Amazon DSP into your plan depending on your category and specific goals, of course. When diving into Amazon DSP, it's a good idea to start with dynamically created ads. This allows you to experiment and find out which audiences and ad placements work best for your brand. And remember, it's not just about reaching new customers. You should also implement lower funnel retention strategies such as uh, your product or brand remarketing. This gives you the opportunity to re-engage with people who have previously shown interest in your brand or products. Now, when it comes to advertising on Amazon platform, sponsor display ads and Amazon DSP have a lot in common. Now, let's take a closer look at the similarities between these two options. First is targeting capabilities. Now, sponsor display ads and Amazon DSP offer robust targeting options. Sponsor display ads allow you to target based on product interests, views and related categories. Amazon DSP lets you target specific audience segments based on demographics, interests, and shopping behavior. For example, if you sell running shoes, you can actually target customers who viewed your similar products with sponsored display ads. Now, with Amazon DSP, you can actually target users interested in fitness or engaged with running communities. Ad placement is the next one. Now, both options available uh, provide various ad placements on the Amazon website. Sponsor display ads appear on product detail pages, customer review pages, and in search results. Amazon DSP allows display across ad formats, including the video ads, and even on Amazon devices like um, Kindle, as I've mentioned. Now, for instance, if you have new kitchen appliances, use Amazon display ads on relevant product pages or Amazon DSP let you showcase engaging video ads on Kindle Fire tablets. Performance uh, tracking and optimization is next. Sponsored display ads and DSP offer insights and tools to track and optimize ad campaigns. So sponsored display ads provide metrics like impressions, clicks and conversions. Amazon DSP provides advanced reporting, including detail uh, demographic data. For a book release campaign, sponsored display ads track clicks and purchases. Now, Amazon DSP helps identify the demographic groups mostly engaged with your ads for targeting adjustments. Next is reach and scale. Both options allow reaching a vast audience on Amazon. Now, sponsored display ads target customers actively shopping on Amazon. So Amazon DSP expands reach beyond uh, the Amazon targeting customers across the internet using partner sites and apps connected to Amazon's network. Now to run successful sponsor display and Amazon DSP campaign, Celera PPC agency is the best option you can opt for. It is a service provider that uses the RCCR framework to optimize campaigns based on your business goals. So by understanding the different stages of the shopper lifecycle, reach, consideration, convert and retain, you can develop targeted campaigns that address the needs and behavior of your customers at each stage. The RCCR framework is particularly useful for you if you want to use pay-per-click advertising to drive traffic, generate leads, and increase sales. Now, PPC campaigns can be expensive, so it's essential to ensure that every dollar spent is directed towards achieving specific business goals. So by breaking down these goals into long-term and short-term action items, Celerab's dedicated consultants can devise custom strategies that align with your unique needs and priorities. For example, if the client's goal is to reduce advertising costs, the seller app will focus on the convert stage of the RCCR framework. This could involve optimizing ad targeting and bidding strategies, improving product listings and descriptions, and leveraging customer reviews and ratings to boost the credibility and trust. Now, if you have any questions or concerns, the Celerap PPC team is available to assist you at support at Celerap.com. Now, it's in your best interest to understand the differences as well between the sponsored display ads and the sponsored Amazon TSP to make a better choice. Now, here are the things uh, you need to know regarding these two options. 
First off is eligibility. Amazon sponsored display ads are exclusively available to brand registered sellers. If you are a brand registered seller on Amazon, you're good to go with the sponsored display ads. On the other hand, Amazon DSP ads are open to advertisers whether they sell on Amazon or not. It's a more inclusive option that allows a wider range of advertisers to leverage the power of DSP. Next is the cost structure. Amazon sponsored display ads operate on a pay-per-click that is PPC model, which DSP ads uh, work on a cost per mile that is CPM basis. Now with PPC, you pay a specific amount when a shopper clicks on your ad. It's a great model for generating sales because you only pay when someone takes action. On the other hand, CPM refers to the cost of 1000 ad impressions. This model is beneficial for building brand recognition and getting your brand name out there to a wider audience. The choice between PPC and CPM depends on your specific advertising goals. If your main focus is driving sales, PPC is typically the way to go. However, if your objective is to enhance brand awareness and recognition, CPM-based solutions can be highly effective. Moving on to the ad budget, sponsored display ads have a pretty low uh, minimum advertising budget of just $1. This makes it super easy for brands to get started, even if they have a limited advertising budget. You can dip your toes in the water and gradually increase your ad spend over time. It's like a flexible approach that allows you to test the waters and scale up when you're ready. On the other hand, DSP ads come with a higher minimum ad spend of $35,000. While this may seem like a significant investment, it's because DSP offers more advanced capabilities. It's geared towards advertisers looking for more robust and sophisticated advertising options. Next difference is traffic generation. Now, sponsored display ads can appear both on Amazon and outside the marketplace. But here's the catch. The traffic these ads generate leads back to Amazon listings only. So in other words, when someone clicks on your sponsored display ad, they will be directed to your product page or listing on Amazon. You can't use sponsored display ads to send traffic to an external website. It's all about driving engagement and sales within the Amazon ecosystem. On the flip side, DSP ads give you more flexibility. They can not only send traffic to Amazon listings, but also to external websites. This is a game changer for brands that don't sell uh, directly on Amazon or have an omni-channel sales strategy. Now, let's say you are running a DSP ad campaign and you want to drive traffic to your own website to promote a special sale or showcase your brand story. With DSP ads, you have the freedom to react users to both Amazon listings and external websites. It opens up possibilities for broader brand exposure and reaching customers beyond the Amazon platform. Let's talk about control over creatives now with Amazon DSP ads. You have the power to customize various elements such as headlines, brand logos, images, and more. This means you can tailor your creatives to align perfectly with your brand's aesthetics and capture the attention of potential buyers. It's like having the freedom to create visually appealing ads that truly reflect your brand's identity. On the other hand, Amazon sponsored display ads don't offer this level of customization. They automatically generate ads using your Amazon product information. While it saves you time and effort, it limits the level of control you have over the visual elements of your ads. Next is audience stacking. So Amazon DSP provides advertisers with the ability to filter and refine their targeted audience. This means you can be more specific and precise in who you want to reach with your ads. For example, let's say you want to target health conscious individuals interested in fitness products. Now with DSP, you can set up audience filters to reach that particular segment. On the other hand, sponsored display ads do not offer the same level of audience refinement. They tend to target uh, a broader audience, which may not be tailored to your specific goals. So if you are looking to show ads to a specific audience, DSP ads can be a better choice. Next is learning curve. 
uh, you can actually easily launch and manage the sponsored display ads through Seller Central. If you are comfortable playing with strategies, you can handle the campaigns by yourself. On the other hand, DSP advertising can be more complex, especially for new advertisers. The learning curve might be steeper, uh, requiring a deeper understanding of the platform and its advanced features. In such cases, it could be beneficial for brands to seek assistance from trusted Amazon advertising agencies like Cellerapp. These agencies have the expertise and experience to navigate the complexities of DSP. So ensuring your campaigns are optimized and highly effective. Now, both sponsored display ads and Amazon DSP have their own unique advantages. And the good news is that you can actually use them together or separately to achieve those remarkable results. Now, for most sellers, sponsored display ads are often the more accessible option. Not every seller has a budget of, you know, 35K dollars or more to invest in Amazon advertising. And that's where the sponsored display ads come in handy. Even if you don't have a large advertising budget, you still have plenty of targeting options available to you with sponsored display ads. However, if you find yourself needing the advanced capabilities of Amazon DSP, but feel unsure about managing it on your own, don't worry. We are here to help you. Our team at SellerApp is more than happy to assist you in managing your Amazon display ads. You can actually schedule a call with our experts by clicking the link in the comment section below. And that's it for this video, everyone. Thanks for watching. Your support means a lot to us. It encourages us to bring out more helpful videos like this. If you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe to SellerApp. Let us know if you guys want us to create detailed seller guides on any specific topics. You can leave your suggestions in the comment section below and we'll definitely create them for you. If you haven't already, click the bell icon so that you will never miss another video. And don't forget to follow us on our social media channels. As always, happy selling!